this short video, we're going to take a look at the triple jump technique of Patrick from the USA. I'm going to break down his technique into the hop, step and jump phases and also compare and contrast this with one of my group members, Jonathan Ilori, as well as showing some drills and practices that Patrick can do to improve his technical ability. First up, let's take a complete look at one of his jumps. The first thing that struck me was the imbalance that goes between the phases as a rocking and rolling from side to side. This rolling movement will undoubtedly be set up from the hop. You'll see Patrick's right shoulder is dropped downward. So this will initiate the imbalance from the start. The arrow indicates that he's not driving fully off the ball significantly enough either. And the second arrow indicates the need to drop the free leg down straight below the body to initiate a longer range of movement in the hop. Obviously, what happens in the hop will have an effect on the step phase, i.e. the imbalance. Rightward movement on the hop has now been transferred to the left in the step. The head is also downward pointed, as is the chest, and this will lower trajectory through into the jump. Given all that, it's remarkable that Patrick is able to get into a relatively good position mid-flight in the jump. However, he's not going to get an optimum jump because of the setup from the previous phases. The arrow identifies the rolling out and the second that he's coming into land prematurely and not getting a good leg shoot. Ok, let's take a look at some practice efforts. Patrick's approach and double arm action needs to be sharp and quicker. It needs to be a stabbing movement, very quick through the hop takeoff. And again, there needs to be that extension off of the board and the free leg being dropped below the body to create a long lever. He's collapsing forwards into the step phase and this could be corrected by extending the foot further in front and pulling it back towards the track surface. The thigh, swinging thigh, needs to be held for longer in the step phase and I'd advise against the feathering the pulling back of the foreleg as this can create forward rotation. The arms get into a good position in the jump phase, however, the legs seem to drop below the body prematurely and they should be fully extended. Contrast this with the position achieved by Pablo Pichardo, the top class Cuban jumper. Ok, let's take a look at some of the things that you can do to improve the hop and step and jump phases. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I like to use lots of drills that break down the various components of triple jump, long jump, etc. into specific parts. So this skipping drill is great for developing a hop and step takeoff. You're working on foot contact, the swing in the free leg and the use of the arm to aid momentum. Obviously, plyometrics are crucial for the triple jumper and this combination involving hops and steps will aid technical ability as well as development of power. Triple jump is all about rhythm, but you've got to get your positioning correct so the foot needs to move away on the contacts and the free leg needs to be held and driven through into each phase. Here's Jonathan doing two steps and a jump from a low platform and you'll see that power is combined with range of movement and balance. So the proper conditioning, which is technically well executed, will improve your actual event performance. Now we're taking a look specifically at some hopping drills that we really worked on with Jonathan over the previous season to get that range of movement. Many young triple jumpers just unfortunately don't hop far enough and this is something that Patrick needs to work on. He needs to get that free leg away from him hold it and then get the leg to drop down below the body before cycling the foot to the front to create a big arc. This drill here is a small shortened version of what we're trying to achieve, the dropping of the free leg down and the cycling of the hopping leg. 
we're going to take a couple of looks at Jonathan jumping in competition. Now, by no means is his technique perfect, but there is a good range of movement and distribution of effort between the phases. There's a fluency through the board and the thigh is held away from the body to allow the extension of the hopping leg. And then the free leg is dropped down straight with the torso upright, enabling a good range of movement. Here we can contrast Jonathan's step with Patrick's step position. And now the jump phase. You need to get that full extension coming into the pit and here's a shot of Christian Taylor showing the arms behind the hips ready for foot contact. I've tried to contrast here Patrick and Jonathan's jumping so that you can see the differences in the distribution of effort more closely and the technical execution elements that I've been referring to. Hopefully my analysis and commentary will help you and the performance of your triple jumping. And thanks to Patrick for enabling us to analyse his technique. Thanks for watching and good luck with your training and competitions. And of course, do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below. Thank you.